Welcome to the blog of Katia. Here we are going to l- practice the many more exercises of the Katia that which we makes a perfect in the Katia. Okay? By learning these exercises we will make the perfection how to use the tool in a real time conditions when we are getting a more situ- more problems, okay? So This is the exercise first exercise where we are going to do in the cat yeah this is a sketcher exercises right now we are doing a sketcher exercises by sketcher exercise we are making the, uh, this exercise will do in the sketcher module okay this is the first exercise before starting an ex- any exercise first of all we should uh, remember that what are the steps should be taken to make a diagram we should be manually consider means in our brain only we should think what are the steps we should make mm, we should make first of all from where you had to start a diagram and from where you had to start and what are the steps you should be done you should be calculated in the brain only after that we will make the diagram on the catia why because catia is the tool it's just like a pen and paper there is no in the catia what are the steps we you are make on draw on the catia it will take so first of all before making the steps what we are in the catia before we should plan what are the steps to be made and when we have to make okay so first of all in this diagram from where you have to start in front we are going to start from here 54 diameter of the circle okay from drawing the circle after out, um, outline i am drawing one more circle okay from the circle here we have six uh, circles we out from so we are making the rotate option we are making number of six circles after that away from this here i have one more circle okay right now getting to down here we have one more circle this is the uh, radius of 100 radius Okay, hundred radius. I have that's a twelve radius outside the inner circle and outer circle, and about the twenty-three radius of outer and inner circle. And uh, he, he completely trimmed the circles into trimming that an angle of thirty, thirty. Okay. So th- and after that, we are drawing the two line. We are making the lines of offset for the two sides at a distance of thirty-six. Okay. So these are the steps where we are going to do in the catia. Okay. So entering into the catia, close the module. part uh, start part design here the name we are we are going to give the name as ex er ci sc x size 1 okay Okay select the sketcher and select the sketch plane where you want to make a sketch Okay so right now we are going to draw a inner circle what is the inner more circle radius of diameter it is radius of 54 take out a circle and draw in a sort of circle and after that here have here see we have this is a three circles are there that is one is the construction circle and the one is the diagram circle so we have completely here three circles so right i am taking the three circles here first of all we are making the rough profile the rough profile is that it looks like a three circles so that i am making a three circles here okay after making this uh, profile what we should do we should make the constraint the profile So right now, what is the constraint? What is the diameter of this circle? And what about the the circles? And what about the the circles? Okay, and like this one, we should make the constraint the option. Okay, after making the constraint, what we should do? We should make an edit multi constraint. What is the diameter of the three three circles? Means one diameter fifty four diameter, and another second circle is seventy four diameter, and then is a ninety four. So fifty four diameter. Seventy-four diameter, and the and the other one is the ninety-four diameter. So these are the diameters of the three circles. Okay. After that, in the middle of the circle, we have a six circles. Okay. This is the six circles are situated on the middle circle. Actually, the, the here we didn't require the circle, but this circle is required for the 
purpose of construction of the uh, purpose of the uh, another circle so that we didn't require the circle so that we will represent this circle in as a dotted dotted why well, this indication it means that it is in a construction cycle so select the circle and in the select the sketch in the sketch tools select the construction element then the, uh, the circle is converted into the construction okay so on the circle here we have six circles actually where the six circles is exactly you can say in the right side here we have circles what is the diameter of six circles 12 uh, six uh, six holes 12 diameter so take out here one circle and place make the coincidence with the horizontal on the circle and draw in a circular shape profile and make the constraint the circle so what is the diameter of the circle what is the diameter of the circle it's six holes 12 diameter double click on the dimension and give the parameter as 12 12 diameter oh, sorry 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 actually here we are getting the diameter of 148 actually right now I, give, I want to give the values in the radiuses sorry I forgot it actually we should make the we should make the problem is here it asking the radius and given the values of in the form of the diameters of the all circles that is the problem so here what is the diameter of this one it is a radius of 12 only it is the radius of 6 only and what about the radius of this one is the 54 by 2 it is the radius of the circle and it is a radius of 74 by 2 and another circle is it's 94 by 2 these are the parameters actually it's asking in the in edit multi constraint it's asking the values of in the radius but i have given in the form of diameter that is the problem what happened okay so this is the parameters we should make after that and select the circle which we want to make the five more circles after selecting select the rotate option and which is the center point uh, from this is the center point it should be rotate okay next how many circles right now we required we required a five circles and what is the angle between the one circle and another circle means 360 by six circles so right now we placed the five circles uh, five other circles on the middle of the circle okay get into dam here we have the circles here we have the one more construction circle this is a construction circle the radius of the construction circle is a hundred okay take out the circle circle and draw a circle and which is the radius of 100 r that is a 100 radius means it's a diameter of 200 so what is the diameter it is a diameter of 200 okay actually this we didn't require the complete portion of the circle so that what we should do means we should make the trim means to make the trim here we have the uh, two more construction lines this is construction lines of at a limit of 30 30 degrees so select an a line from the center of the origin draw a line which is these are all the these are the lines are the construction purpose select the line and here place the construction option as well as select this line also and select it as a construction okay so what is the line angle between the this line and this uh, from the origin it's an angle of 30 degrees okay after placing double click on the dimension and give the parameter of 30 degrees okay so we required one more circle in this direction also select the uh, line and select the mirror option and select the vertical axis then we can create a one more line okay after that in the, the points in the here the points we have the 23 circle radius uh, 23 circle him radius uh, circle radius and 12 circle radius so select the circle option from this point draw a two circles okay and from this point we should draw a one more circle actually these are circles are not in the construction elements these are the original elements so what should uh, what we should do make this as uh, a standard geometry select the two circles and in the sketch tools select the construction element then automatically these circles will become the 
standard elements okay and select the constraint element and constrain the these two circles okay what is the diameter of these two circles one circle diameter radius is 12 and one circle diameter uh, radius is the 23 so double click on the diameter and 12 radius means 24 diameter and 23 radius means 46 diameter suppose if you want to give the diameter in the compulsory in 23 only so in the con in constraint definition here we should choose the parameter the radius so what is the radius of that one it is a radius of 23 so we have the same circles in this direction in this uh, way so the select the two circles and make it as a mirror by choosing as a vertical axis okay after that here we have the coincidence of the two circles means we should make an offset okay select the offset option in the transformation toolbar and select the circle and place it out in the inside and select the vamos circle select the offset and drag one more circle as well as select the one more circle and place outer side and select the circle and make the one more circle why the why the object is converted into the pink color why because the object is makes the fully constrained so that the object is converted into the pink color so why the pink color is converted let me see so right now we should remove the this constraints by removing this constraints the diagram will make getting to the original shape and also we should remove the coincidence options so right now it the object will be made into like so okay and select the erase option trim option and remove the extra portion of the circles what how much portion we require we should consider the that portion of the circles only so we should doesn't require the this portions so the circles and remove the extra portion of the which we doesn't require and the offset from here to here and it's in a construction circle and it's in radius of 13 okay so this is the portion what we did okay next one here we have the cuts like this one okay and it's in radius of 10 is the radius uh, so what we will make means here we will make an offset the vertical axis in this direction we are making the axis vertical direction and what is the distance of this one it's a distance of 18 and it's not in construction so that we should make it as a strong element okay and we will make a fillet of 10 between the upper circle and the line it's an radius of 10 and make out a fill uh, between the circle and the outer line it's in diameter of 
okay so we require the same portion in this direction also so select the which parts we require this is the part and this part and make it as a mirror by holding the vertical axis okay and also we require this is the part also we require here in this direction select the axis okay after that and making in this trim option we have we have the trim option okay select the circle up to the limit of up to the limit of the circle if it doesn't get in the circle then what we can should do is remove the circle part and take out the one more circle draw a circle and it's in diameter of 90 four if not you can make the tangency to this one why because it's also already constrained so this like one you can make a diagrams so what is diameter of diam uh, so dimension into dimension of 47 that is nothing but 94 okay like this one we can make the sketcher so after making the diagram in the visualization toolbar in the visualization toolbar suppose if you have the diagnetics tools that is the constraining mm, diagnetics ca geometrical constraints dimensional constraints so this is the diagram what we did in the category okay this is the vast exercise thank you